schizophrenic, schizophrenia. She giggles, fatuously, and often talks to herself. She behaves in quite unpredictable ways and was brought into our hospital under a section for future detention because she could no longer look after herself and her mummy and daddy could no longer control her. Jacqueline was always quiet, kept herself to herself. She would often daydream, but could not concentrate on her work. She only ever had one close friend, and otherwise made little contact with anyone else. She left school at 15, and went to work in a factory, packing sausage meat. At first, she managed all right. But then her work seemed to pile up on her. She became moody and depressed, and such a lying on her bed at night for long, long periods, just staring into space. She told her parents that voices spoke to her during the night. She told her she was moving. Her mother often lost her temper with Jacqueline because she never seemed to listen to what was being said to her. Things came to her head late one night when Jacqueline went out and drowned the family's pet dog. When her father tried to make her explain why she did it, she smiled to herself but did not reply. Later in the week, she left a note for her father saying that the dog was the devil and God told her to destroy the devil before the devil destroyed her. When Jacqueline's father tried to reason with her, she hit him violently across the mouth, explaining she had to do it to stop him from hurting himself. Then she ran upstairs and locked herself in her bedroom, playing records very loudly. to turn down the volume, nor open the door, so her father sent for the family doctor, who arranged for Jacqueline's admission to the local psychiatric hospital. On the first Thursday after her admission, on the doctor's ward round, she was surrounded by all aspects of the healthcare team, who showed the necessary signs and symptoms to be classified as schizophrenic. She was now branded
is a bit of a reason why I played that as well, Steve. <laughs> You're <all> right. <laughs> it was Mental Health Awareness Week last week, so yeah. I just thought that was apt that we should do. Well, we should did play it last week, so I'll yes. play it. But um, there's some reason behind that. I know it's a, it sounds a little bit depressing, but you know. Well, we've always got we've always got a little perk up, haven't we? Yeah. Here's another one. One, two, three, two, two, three. Is it working for you? That's better. Yeah. Uh, right. Better roger. Yeah. That'll do. That's well, awesome. that's enough.
So I'm glad you didn't do that to Steve then. Uh, you, uh -huh. Yes. Oh. Mm. Well, I'm starting to notice nearly all the songs now. I've <laughs> We're not doing it deliberately. We've got a lot of them. Have got little gaps you in. Do? Just we we'll have to keep my eye on you. Uh -huh. You're only allowed one in each hour. I'm, I'm going to have to limit you. Okay. Then. Yeah, because you know I know you like to repeat things until they're funny. I do. Yeah. But, uh, we might have to just <laughs> yeah, clear that yet. one a little bit. <laughs> so, um, have we got the James Blunt? Yeah, he's been uh, on again. Yeah. Yeah. He's been on again. So I've told yeah. him he'll never be with me. I've told him that. Yeah. But we'll play his little. Thing. Okay. He sends in. Uh, I think we should get him out of the way. Go on then. All right. But I do think you need to explain what yeah, it is. People actually. have not heard it before. It's yeah. James Blunt. If he wants us to play his, his songs on it, it's not going to happen, is it? No. I mean, seriously. No. So we said we'll just. He does this little feature. He's famously uh, quite witty and blunt yeah. on, on Twitter. Right. So this is just clips of him being blunt. Very good. This is James Blunt being. Blunt. Now, this is the real James Blunt. That squeaky voice has been put on for all his years. Yes, your bum does look big in that. But on the plus side, it diverts attention from your thick ankles. <laughs> Try some poisoning 